If you are receiving this, you are at the precipice of a rabbit hole that extends deeper than you could ever imagine. A game that extends only as far as its platform, as far as its concert. You can switch it off, go back to your lives. But this is more than a game. It lives and breathes all around you. All you have to do is look. Let us open your eyes. Howdy, Tinker Nerds. For those of you that are unaware, Ingress is an alternate reality game that's been put out by Google. Alternate reality essentially means that it's a game that uses the real world around you as its platform. At the time of this video, the game is currently in closed beta, but you can request an invitation either at ingress.com or nianticproject.com. The Niantic Project is a covert operative website that posts memos and files with secret activation codes hidden inside them. Cracking these codes requires knowledge of everything from Base64 and Morse code to Braille and the periodic table. But the Niantic storyline is its own can of worms. In this video, my intent is only to focus on how to play the game. Okay, here's the premise of the game. There are two teams, the Resistance and the Enlightened. Both teams are fighting over control over what are called portals. Within the narrative, portals are locations such as libraries, post offices, and other local landmarks through which shapers can teleport to Earth. Shapers are believed to be a trans-dimensional intelligence. The Resistance believes that this intelligence should be feared and is something that can hurt humanity. But the Enlightened believe that this intelligence can help humanity and should be embraced. As you may have guessed, both sides are fighting over control of the portals. But how do you know which portals are in your area? Well, there are two ways. The first way is through the Ingress Intel webpage, which you can find here. It shows the location and status of portals that are in your area and who controls them. This webpage also presents a means of calm access, which is a way to communicate with others that are on your team. Clicking on a portal will tell you more about it and how well it's protected. But this site is nothing more than informative. You can't really play the game from here. For that, you need to download the Ingress Scanner app from the Android App Store. This allows you to deploy, defend, hack, and attack portals, also giving you calm access. The game is essentially an overlay of Google Maps and uses GPS to determine your position. It will then show you whether or not you're around a portal or exotic matter. Exotic matter, also known as XM, is a powerful energy that is leaked into our dimension. As you walk around, you can collect it and use it to help build and defend your portal. When you have enough XM, find one of your team's portals and select it. You can now hack it, which essentially gives you resources such as portal keys, XMP bursters, and other goodies. Once a portal is hacked, you have to allow it time to cool down before you can hack it again. You can view all of the hacked items you've collected in your inventory by going to Ops and the Items tab. Back on the portal page, you can build up your portal by selecting Deploy Resonator. Each portal can have up to 8. Resonators are XM controllers that can be upgraded from L1 to L8. The higher the resonator ranking, the harder it will be to attack. Now, another way to build up your defense is by linking portals together. To link a portal, you have to have acquired a portal key, again through hacking. Then mosey on over to a different portal claimed by your team, select it, and click Link. Then select the portal that you have acquired the key to, and the linking process begins. Then if you link those portals to a third portal owned by your team, it will create a triangular field called a control field. This essentially means that everyone located in your control field is now claimed by your team. These claimed players are known as mind units. Hopefully by this point you will have obtained a good amount of APs or action points. To find out how many you've actually earned, you can click on the icon in the upper left hand corner of your phone screen. Action points are essentially like experience points in other games, where the more stuff you do within the game, the more points you earn. These points can then be traded for level ups or more advanced weapons and other items. Alright, well that's a basic rundown of the offense strategy of the game, so what about defense? 
Like your own portals, enemy portals can be hacked to acquire resources. And hopefully by now you've hacked enough portals to have obtained at least one XMP burster. XMP bursters are used to damage portal resonators. To use an XMP burster, you can either click on it directly from your inventory to use it, or you can long press on an enemy portal from the scanner screen and select Fire XMP. Keep in mind that even if you have a level 5 XMP burster in your inventory, you can't use it unless you have reached an AP level of 5. Then once you have destroyed all the resonators, the portal can be claimed for your team. Alright, that should be enough to get you started. If you already have access to Ingress, let me know how you like it. And if you're still waiting for access, let me know if you're excited about it or not. Alright, for more tutorials, feel free to visit my website at Tinkernut.com or my YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash Gigafied. And until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.